Madam Chair, and good morning um, to this extraordinarily distinguished panel. Thank you all for being here, and thank you for the work you do. Um, as you know, Dr. Collins, the fentanyl, heroin, and opioid epidemic is ravaging my state of New Hampshire and communities across our country. I was very proud to work with the rest of the New Hampshire delegation to secure a truly significant increase in funds for the Granite State to use for prevention, treatment, and recovery through the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration State Opioid Response Grants. So now New Hampshire is receiving $23 million for fiscal year 2018. Before that, it was three. So it's, we think, the potential to really have an impact on the ground. And I think it's really important that we stay focused on making sure that the hardest hit states, the states with the highest mortality rates, uh, get the concentration of funds they need. But we also need to make sure that we are supporting science here because we need more and better ways to treat addiction and also to manage pain. It's a critical part of curbing the opioid crisis and I appreciate the conversations we've had about it. And I also appreciate very much the work the NIH is doing on the HEAL initiative to advance this science. When you were before this committee last, you explained that you needed more flexibility from Congress to allow the NIH to fund research on the opioid epidemic more quickly and efficiently. Since that time, I've been really pleased to work with Chairman Alexander, with Ranking Member Murray and Senator Young to introduce the Advanced Cutting Edge ACE Research Act to give the NIH the flexibility it needs to quickly advance research on new treatments and non-addictive painkillers by providing that other transaction authority that we've talked about. So Dr. Collins, how will the other transaction authority provided by the ACE Research Act help the NIH's work on the opioid epidemic, including through the HEAL initiative? Well, I appreciate the question and your support of this other transaction authority, and let me explain why it would be so useful and why the timing is really kind of urgent right now. Uh, of the HEAL initiative that you mentioned, HEAL standing for Help End Addiction Long Term, mm -hmm. Uh, one of the projects that we are most excited about, which is truly ambitious, is to see if we could identify maybe three places in the nation where a particularly hard hit circumstance is happening with opioids and bring together in a way that has not happened before, but as a research enterprise, all of the players in that, uh, the primary care docs, the emergency rooms, the police, the fire departments, the criminal justice system, uh, all of the other support systems, the state uh, health departments, and see what could we actually do if everybody worked together in a yep. coordinated way to tackle this problem, because no single one of those is going to be able to have, be successful in ending uh, this terrible national crisis. To be able to do that, which has never really been attempted before, having the kind of flexibility where we could actually reach out and identify partners who maybe have never written an NIH grant and say, right. we want you, right. and also have a very active role at NIH in managing this effort in a fashion which, with grants, sometimes we cannot do, would allow us to go faster and more effectively. We're going to try to do this anyway, but if we had other transaction authority, maybe in the next month, <laughs> it would make a big difference in our ability to carry out that part of the HEAL initiative. Well, I, I thank you for that. Uh, I'm glad to see the bill pass the House, and I hope the Senate will act soon on this. I do too. So along with the entire opioid pack, package that we passed out of this committee. Um, I want to go to one other New Hampshire issue, if I may, but again, one that has applications uh, all across the country. Families in my state continue to have questions about what PFAs, mm -hmm. or PFAs, uh, contamination in drinking water means for their health and the health of their children. Once used for a variety of commercial and industrial applications, PFAS have seeped into water tables in many places, including New Hampshire. There's a critical need to better understand and address any potential adverse health effects that contaminants may have on our communities. Dr. Collins, what is the NIH doing to study these chemical compounds and their potential health effects on Americans? Well, this is a significant environmental concern, and I know in New Hampshire uh, there's been uh, even a public uh, discussion about it in Exeter that EPA came and led. Michigan is very much also right. caught up in this, particularly around Kalamazoo. And this is uh, the kind of a substance that has a very long half-life, is not yeah. naturally occurring, but has found its way into many uh, groundwater and water supplies because of manufacturing of things uh, such as carpet cleaners and so right. on. Uh, in terms of the environmental risks, we really don't know enough about the human risks to be very confident in saying whether this is a really a big deal or whether actually we humans are able to handle it. We do know in animals there's an association with immune consequences and maybe other things, including perhaps cancer, but the human data is very uncertain. 
Uh, there is a big project which DOD is funding, which yep. our NIEHS, uh, National mm -hmm. Institute of Environmental Health Sciences, is part of, along with the CDC's ATSDR. That is going to, I think, provide the kind of data that we currently don't have, at least in terms of epidemiology, of what is the relationship of exposure and to human medical problems. We desperately need more information of that sort. Well, I, I thank you, and I agree with that, and I thank you for allowing me to go over, Madam Chair. I'm going to follow up just to uh, pinpoint any other gaps in research that you all might see, and I appreciate very much, again, all your work. Be glad to do. Thank you.